Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke, and you're watching me on YouTube. Maybe on the actual YouTube app. Maybe you guys use a lot of different apps, and maybe some of the ones you use may know you a little bit better than you'd like. This is the Top 10 Apps to Watch You. Coming in at the number 10 spot now, we have MSpy. Now this is the closest thing to a real life spy app that I've ever seen. Users who install it are promised that their phones can now remotely spy on text messages, call logs, and emails, track their location, record their surroundings, and even look at their calendar information to see what their plans are. It can see you, hear you, and knows exactly where you are at any time. It was designed for parents or bosses to keep an eye on their kids or employees, but to be honest, if someone installed this on your phone without you knowing, they could do exactly the same thing. Creepy stuff. Next up at number nine now, we have Tinder. Now Tinder has blown up recently as the biggest online dating app in the world for people looking for love, a hookup, or just about anything in between. In April 2016, it was reported that for just a one-off payment of $5, you could use the website Swipe Buster, put in some details about someone you know, and all of their info will come up on Tinder, including their age, general location, when they were last using the app, or even if they were searching for men or women. Swipe Buster was actually set up to show people how apps like Tinder do keep tabs on your location and many other details, and that if you know how to, anyone can get that info too. Moving on to number eight now, we have Instagram. In 2012, Instagram came under fire for taking information on people's phones and storing it on their own servers. Specifically, they were taking phone book numbers from people's contacts without them even knowing. They were doing this to try and expand their network as quickly as possible. If they could see who wasn't using Instagram on that contact list, they knew who to target next. Many people out there were out outraged that Instagram was watching and remembering their personal contacts, and Apple even made a statement saying they would tighten security on their products to stop this ever happening. Next up at number seven now, we have FlexiSpy. This app claims to be the world's most powerful monitoring software for protecting your children and monitoring your employees, but there's been rumors it's fallen into the wrong hands at times. Once the app is installed on your device, whoever is spying on you can see any of your messages, including WhatsApp, Facebook, and Skype. They can also see your texts, see where exactly you are in the world, listen in through your actual microphone, and even intercept live calls as they happen. That's something they claim no similar apps can do. Maybe because it's really creepy and I feel like illegal. Moving on to number six now, we have Twitter. In 2014, it was reported that a little blue birdie might be watching you a bit too closely. Specifically, a Twitter update that went over a lot of people's heads said that you now give permission for Twitter to watch and monitor the name of every single app on your phone. Now, the reason they watch you like this is so that they can see what kind of person you're like based on your app choices and then target more specific ads to you on Twitter. If you want to turn this off, you actually have to manually go into your privacy settings on your phone. Advertising is what keeps Twitter free, but I can't help but feel this is a bit of a sneaky move. Next up at number five, we have The One Spy. Much like some of the other spying apps we've talked about, once activated, The One Spy will read your messages, watch where you are, and listen to your conversations. This app can even activate the camera to see exactly what you're doing and watch you in a very physical sense. But perhaps the scariest part about it is that it's just so cheap. One month of spying costs just $18. Apparently, that is now the price of privacy. Moving on to number four now, we have YouTube. In 2014, a former hacker turned security researcher published an article about network injection appliances. These were expensive systems used by hackers that can crack into your hard drive wherever unencrypted data is exchanged with a server. One example of this is YouTube videos. They are a non-encrypted transfer of data. Google quickly announced they were rolling out a fix for this soon, but it was a real wake-up call for people when it comes to how far hacking has really come in this day and age. Next up at number three now, we have Heister Mobile. On this app's own website, they actually brag a lot of people do not yet know that it is possible to spy on a mobile phone remotely. Well, hopefully this video might put an end to that. Heister goes one step further than our other spying apps because not only does it access pictures on your phone to allow people to see what you're doing, it will actually go into other apps to watch you as well. This means any pictures sent or received over Facebook, WhatsApp, or Skype, they are all taken and stored remotely. This app even has an option to remotely uninstall itself, meaning there will be no trace that the person was even watching you at all. All right, moving on to number two now, we have Spyera. To be honest, this thing is just straight up creepy. It will record everything 
and I mean everything, through your camera and microphone. It will find and store every message you send and it will keep every single picture, no matter where it comes from or how you try and hide it. It will even allow the watcher to read all of your passwords ever for everything you've ever used on your phone. So if your security hasn't already been compromised by this point, it certainly is now. The list of features just goes on and on. The only comforting thing that I could find is that this is all pretty expensive. It costs almost $400 for a year of spying, but there are definitely people out there who would call that a fair price. And finally at number one, we have Facebook. In 2016, stories started to emerge that Facebook was apparently listening to you quite literally. There's a section of their terms and conditions that says, we use your microphone to identify the things you're listening to or watching based on the music and TV we're able to identify. Now they claim that this helps them identify songs or TV shows that you don't know the name of, but other people have made videos of them talking about things near their phone and then advertisements for that thing appearing on Facebook soon after. Some experts said that Facebook isn't actually eavesdropping on us, but that the real way they are spying is in the fact that we no longer even have to give permission for Facebook to track our movements or look through our contacts, and that you don't even need to have the app for them to do that. Perhaps that's a story for a whole other video. Well, there we have it guys. Did any of these ones creep you out at all? Were you shocked, or have you heard of even worse? Leave your thoughts down below. Let me know if you'd like a part two. I'm Danny Burke, and I will see you all in the next video. Yeah.